Good morning, friends and family. How are you? It is Monday, December 28th. We are on a home stretch of uh, 2020. This is our last week in 2020. I hope you enjoy this message. I'm going to be reading from 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bring swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring the way of truth into disrepute. In this, in their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes, and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly, and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard if this is so then the lord knows how to rescue the ungodly rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment this is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desire of the flesh and despise authority. Bold and arrogant, they are not afraid to heap abuse on celestial beings, not even angels, although they are stronger and more powerful. Do not heap abuse on such beings when bring judgment on them from the Lord. Peter describes and condemns the false teachers who had entered the church. He shows the impact of their lies on those who might believe them. You know, who are these teachers? They're not strangers to the church. They didn't just show up spouting false doctrine in, in a full frontal attack against the community of Christians. These uh, false teachers came with, from within the church. They, they, they introduced subtly uh, their destructive uh, heresies. A deception that Peter highlighted is that these false teachers uh, denied the sovereignty of Christ. They uh, taught that he was not the Lord even though he bought them with his blood. And even so, some people buy into their deception. Those that are most vulnerable are those uh, who are just coming into from the world and into Christ. Right now, so they would lack the experience, the knowledge to know better what is the truth and what is false doctrine. There was a time when I was new to the Christian faith. These scriptures reminded me of a time when false doctrine or principles or guidelines had entered the church and it spread rapidly amongst the believers uh, in my first several years of my walk with God. And what was this false doctrine? It was the praising of men and women who performed certain deeds that were deemed godly. Deemed godly in manner, that is. Their examples were announced in front of the congregation as those who should be followed. Those that were perceived to not have followed in those people's footsteps were treated with contempt. An unhealthy dependence on people rather than Christ had developed. Reasonable decisions gave way to draconian edicts. Men and women followed legalistic approaches without question. I admit, I had begun practicing the false doctrine because of the numerous examples around me. However, I knew something was off. My answer to combating the false doctrine was to become like a Berean. Who are the Bereans? You'll find them in Acts chapter 17 verses 10 through 12. These people examined the scriptures to make sure what they were taught by the Apostle Paul was true. 
They didn't take his word for what they heard. They, they studied the scriptures. So I immersed myself in reading the Bible, sometimes for hours. I prayed, and then I read the Bible some more. The scriptures, the scriptures built my convictions about Christ. They helped me distinguish what, was, what I was supposed to do. Had I continued practicing the, sol the false doctrine, I would not be married today. And that's what I believe. Family and friends, please remain vigilant about your walk with God. Read the scriptures in earnest so that you may guard your heart from straying from the truth. So for this holiday season, for the rest of the year, please stay safe. I wish you, were very, I wish you well. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.